Hi all and welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro and our video user guide for APT where this time we're going to be looking at the extra devices out of the tools tab and this covers flat panels and devices and GPS devices um, please excuse the way this video goes I actually did this one live um, under my first clear night last night for a long time and uh, I was a bit tired in the morning <laughs> So this just has a look mainly at the uh, flats devices. My GPS wasn't working properly. Uh, fix that problem now, but uh, there you go. So I'll just post up this video and see how we go. Okay, I'm just coming up to the end of a uh, very rare and surprising unexpected night of imaging. Uh, haven't got a lot of imaging in, but got some in and it's been over eight weeks since I've been able to do any, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, but before I do that I'm going to go in and talk about extra devices mainly the flat panels uh, because I'll be doing after I finish this I'll be doing my uh, um, using CCD flats aid to create a flat plan sorry it's yeah, half past three in the morning here so I'm a bit tired so this is your extra devices panel uh, available under the settings uh, sorry the uh, tools tab and what you have at the top here is your flats devices and the bottom is your GPS device uh, for some reason or other my GPS isn't working it's not receiving any data so I've got to have to look into that later on but at the moment I can't really be bothered I don't really use it often so I'm not worried but with your flats devices uh, you have several that are supported directly by APT and Ivo has mentioned recently that he wants to try and get the ASCOM drivers working with them as well so if you don't have one of these you may have support for it soon um, I have a Pegasus Astro one so that's what I'm using at the moment so the next line you have is to select the port it's on it's not plugged in at the moment so it's not on any port uh, it'll be on port 5 when it comes up and you'll see that when I'm using it for the flats aid plan uh, the next line you have here is your delay in milliseconds and how this works depends on what flat panel you have so in this case if you have a Lacerta a Pegasus Astro or a Geoptic uh, the way that works is that it the delay is added to each end of your exposure so what happens is this shutter opens uh, the delay is added then your exposure is taken delay is added again and then the shutter is closed and that's to avoid mechanical and rolling shutter interference with the imaging um, so that when you come around to doing a dark flats plan to match it with your flats plan you actually have to add this delay times two to your time for your dark flat so if you've got a two second flat uh, in my case I've got 500 milliseconds so I'd have to add one second to the two second flat to make it a three second dark flat now if you have one of the other ones mentioned here the art sky and the owl attack uh, it doesn't work that way they work a slightly different way um, they actually start the flat panel have the delay uh, open the shutter take the the exposure uh, close the shutter then add the delay to the end of it. so the actual exposure time remains the same for either one so you don't have to worry about them for anything else but it's only the Lacerta, the Pegasus and the Geoptic at the moment you need to add that extra delay time two times what you've got here to the dark flat image I hope I explained that well um, next you have the various brightness for each of your filters uh, these are the setups for mine that I've got at the moment and I'll use them uh, when the time comes uh, just a note if you don't have a filter wheel connected at the time the very first one is what they use filter one will be is what you use. so I actually had to change my filters around because uh, I had my HA 3 nanometer 3 nanometer one on there and uh, it's not going to work if I'm using a DSLR or whatever or one shot color so that's what they do and down the bottom of course is your GS, GPS receiver um, you select your jock the COM port it's on um, I'll leave it on 8 I'll, I'll reset this I haven't been able to get a signal all night uh, just tells me it's connecting to it and it's connected to it and waiting for data but eventually this will have uh, 
your latitude, longitude and elevation. Um, you can then set it as your current location. So as your current location. Um, if you go into your settings and pick a new location and then use this to set as current, it will actually set it for that one. Then you go in and save it and you've saved a new location. Uh, the little button here, there's not much to this one. It's just the port speed. Generally they'll be 9600. Uh, maybe even 4800 but generally 96 you can enable logging of your GPS data but I do advise you not to do that unless you're trying to track down a real problem uh, simply because the files quickly become very big but that's it for your extra devices um, I'll finish this part now because I'm going to be going to uh, do my flats in a minute so I have to get the flat panel out and go out and plug it in so talk to you later bye